Hey guys, welcome back. So it's time for an old school Maya modeling video, uh, just modeling. So we're gonna have some fun with that and we're gonna be making a bullhorn today. All right, here we go. This video has been made possible by Luxion, the creators of Keyshot. Okay, everybody, let's uh, get started with some old-fashioned Maya modeling, okay? I'm looking forward to it, so let's get started with our bullhorn. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a uh, polygon cylinder, and we're going to control A to check the segments, and uh, let's see where we're at. We're at 20, which should be okay. Yeah, I'll leave that at 20. And we don't need any caps, so I'm going to set that to zero. And then I'm going to select this guy, hit E to rotate, hold down J, and snap it 90 degrees. And then we're going to take out these two main faces here. Here, okay. So we're going to right-click the other face, get rid of that, get rid of that. All right. So this is what we have left. All right. So we're going to take it from there. At the end, what I'm going to do here is right-click the edge, and try to get it in one go. Double-click, Control E to extrude. We'll hit R to scale in like this. W to pull it out a little bit. D to repeat last command, R to scale in again, and W to pull out a little bit. And that should be about right because we need to add a piece there later on, right? And then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to go into Entered Edge Loop. And I want a section here, just about, I would say. And then I want one here at the end. And I might bring the whole thing in a little bit. Let's just see here. Hit Q on the keyboard, right click vertex, drag like this. And I would say bring it into about there, right? Okay, Q on the keyboard, right click at a face, and then I'm gonna select every other face from this point of view. And we'll just jump into our perspective. Shouldn't be such a hassle, they're not too many, all right? And what we're going to do next is we're going to control E to extrude. We're going to tweak the thickness because I want it to go inward. Let's do minus 0 0.1. And then let's tweak the offset a little bit. And that is so sensitive, but we're at 0 0.1 as well. So that's good. And then we're going to go and make sure that we're top side. Yeah, our Y is uh, pointing upward. And we're going to take the top four faces, one, two, three, four. We're not going to worry about the bottom part because we're going to copy that over. And in fact, what we'll do is just go in here, right click at a face, drag, select the bottom half, and just get rid of that for now, right? Okay. So we're going to take one, two, three, and four. Control E to extrude. Let's give that some thickness. Let's say 0 0.1 maybe. Let's see if that's enough. Yeah, it should be. And then we'll take the top two, we'll let G to repeat last command, and we'll increase the thickness there as well. Again, 0 0.1 should be good. And then we want to reinforce those edges. So what we're going to do is go into Injured Edge Loop, and we'll add one here at the end, add one here at the end, inside here, one there, and one there. And we'll do one here, and we'll do one here. Q on a keyboard, do a quick test, go to object mode, hit three to preview smooth. We get something like this, looks okay. Don't worry about those bottom parts there, we're gonna fix that, so hit one to go back. Uh, I think that looks okay, so at this point what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy it over. So we're gonna hit Control D to duplicate it, E to rotate, and hold down J, and flip it around like this. We're going to select and shift select, and then we're going to go to uh, mesh and uh, combine to make it one piece. We need to merge those vertices, so right click at a vertex, drag select all of it, go to edit mesh and merge, 0 0.01, that's fine. So now if you go back in object mode and hit three, it should look like one continuous piece, and it does, all right? Okay, so that's good so far. I'm gonna hit one to go back. I want to copy a little section of this guy and I don't really need these faces here. So I'm just gonna go in and get rid of those. 
in those as well. Let's just hit delete. Make sure I didn't delete anything I don't want to. This looks all right. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go into this view, go into object mode, control D to duplicate, E to rotate, hold down J, flip it around like this, then hit W and move it out like this. And then we're going to right click and go to face and drag select all of this and delete that. So we just got this guy. Now let's just check it, make sure it looks okay. And it does. And we're going to go in here and we're going to bring this in. And I want a tiny seam between the two. So let's actually do that first. So I'll bring it out a bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to take this edge, just double click on that. And we're going to hit R and we're going to scale it in just a little. That should be all right. Hit W, push it out very, very slightly like this. And let's see how that works out. So let's be precise about it. Let's push that in to, I would say, about there. Drag click both. Three to preview smooth, and we'll get an edge like that. So we need to hit one to go back, and we need to put in an edge loop, right? So we're going to go to edge loop here. And let's put that in right there. Q on a keyboard. Let's hit three in this guy as well. That looks a bit better. And if we want to be really precise about it, we'll have to do the same thing at this end. So we'll go to insert edge loop. Um, this is still in smooth mode. So actually let's hit Q. We have one right here. We're going to hit R. We're going to scale that in a bit like this. Hit Q on a keyboard. Hit three to preview smooth. We want to go back. Go to insert edge loop, put in an edge in between right there. Q on the keyboard, three to preview smooth. Nice. All right. So that's what we're going to do. And then this guy, I need to extend that a bit. Okay. So we're going to go in here. We're going to hit one. And I'll hit one here. So get rid of that preview smooth. And then we're going to right click and go to vertex, drag select these guys. And in case you're hearing a lot of noise in the background, I got two guinea pigs and they're fighting World War III or something. I don't know. Anyway, so we're going to hit W. We're going to move this out to, I would say, about here. That should be enough. And then we're going to go in here. We're going to right click at the edge. We're going to double click on this. And we're going to control E to extrude. We'll hit R. And we'll scale this in to about here. That should be enough, right? Let's do another insert edge loop here at the end. Hit Q on a keyboard. Select all of this. Hit 3 to preview smooth. And let's see what we have so far. Okay, not too bad. I'm okay with that. All right, so let's see what's next. Um, I think we're going to go with the handle. Uh, so we're going to hit 1 to go back. Handle is going to be in the bottom, obviously. Um, maybe a little issue here for the simple fact that, um, uh, let's see, actually, no, it's actually perfect. Uh, we want to do the handle here, and this is perfectly symmetrical, so that's good. Uh, so we're going to go in, take these two, and let's see how we want to position this. I'm going to hit uh, Control-E to extrude. We'll hit R to scale this in like this. And then even scale it in like this a bit. Cool. And then what we're going to do is actually even let's make it a bit smaller. We're going to control E to extrude. We're going to hit W and we're going to pull it out like this. Okay. And then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to push it in. So hit R, push it in like this. And then we want to level that out. Now, what do I mean by that? Let's go in here. We hit four for wireframe mode. I want all the vertices to be on the same plane here. So I'm going to select the top vertices, hit W to move that down, and hold V to snap it like this. So now we have a, a flat surface down here, which is perfect. 
And then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to go and insert edge loop, put one in right there, Q on our keyboard, and I'm going to go in here and take this face and this face, Control E to extrude, W to push down, and we're going to move it forward just a bit like this. All right. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to go in here and we're going to hit 3 to preview smooth. Let's see what we have so far. So we need to reinforce that a little bit. It's okay. I didn't want to go back. Uh, however, I don't want to impact my main model too much. So what I'm going to do here is go in and we are going to go to face. Take these guys and we're going to go to edit mesh and detach. So I can now do that. And if I hit three, you see that they're still both responding, right? So I'm going to select this guy and we're going to go to edit mesh and separate. Where do you go? Mesh and separate. Yeah, there you go. So now I can select this, hit three, and this won't smooth out, right? That's what I want. Okay. So we have that. We're going to go in. We're going to W. Let's go to modify and center pivot. Let's move that back in and up. And there we go. So now we can work from there. That's exactly what I want. Now, we're going to go into insert edge loop because I want to reinforce that shape, right? So we're going to put one in here. We'll put one in here. One in here. One down here. One here. And of course, one up here. Let's give this another try. We're going to go and hit three. Better. We have some artifacting here. I want to go back. And the reason for that is that we need to add one here and here. Q on the keyboard, object mode, three to preview smooth, nice and tight. All right. Cool, cool. So now that we have that, what we're going to do next is we're going to create the actual handle. And for that, we'll take a, uh, a polygon cube and we'll hit W, push it down. And let's go in here and let's see, we're going to take uh, three in the width like this. And then we're going to start to work from there, right? So we're going to take one and two. We're going to control E to extrude, W to pull up. And what I want to do here is bring this forward. Come on. And this is going to be our handle. Okay. So uh, a lot of tweaking to do, obviously. Uh, let's see. We'll go into this view, I guess. Hit four for wireframe mode. And we're going to hit R and we're going to skill this guy in. Come on. And then we're going to right click the vertex. We're going to take this and this. And let's move that in as well. And then we'll take this and this. And we'll move that down. And then we'll take all of these. And with R and move that in like this. And let's see what's going on. Okay. So we're going to take the back part there. We're going to move that in. Hit W. Let's see how far we want to go. To about there, I would say. And then let's see. We'll take the front here. Kind of push that in like this. And then we'll go in here and we'll right click and go to face. One, two, and three. Control E to extrude, W to push down. Checking the overall proportions here, of course. Let's hit R and push that in. Let's do a quick preview smooth, hit three. Okay, we need to reinforce that shape a few places. So we're gonna go and enter this loop again. And let's do one here. We'll do one here. We'll do one here. Up 
here, of course. We'll have one here and here. We'll have them at the bottom. And then let's have a go. Let's select it, hit three to preview smooth. Not quite there yet. Hit one to go back. Enter the edge loop. Let's hit four so we can see what's going on. Five to go back, all right. So we're gonna do one here and we're gonna do one here. And that should fix most of it. And one here. And there. Hit three to preview smooth. Okay, let's see if I'm happy with this. Not just yet. It could work, but it doesn't look great. So let's see what we can do to fix. I'm gonna go in here. I think I want the bottom here to be a bit more round. So we're gonna take this guy, hit W, push it up. That will affect that shape a little. So we'll hit R to scale it, make it a bit wider at the base. And actually, I think it's a good idea anyway. Yeah, that's much better. Then we'll go in here, we'll take these vertices, we'll hit W and kind of move that this way. Let's do another three to hit preview smooth. Yeah, much better. And then let's have some sort of grip going on here. So hit one to go back. We'll go in here, we'll take that face and that face and that face and that face. Control E to extrude. Let's tweak the offset. Let's not go nuts on that. Let's do something like this. Yep. And then we're going to hit uh, R to scale it in or out. Let's do out. Just a little like this. Control E to extrude again. R to scale it out again. Yeah. And then we're going to go in here, hit three to preview smooth and we'll get something like this. Now I don't like those round shapes here, so let's hit one to go back. And what we'll do is we'll go in, add some more edge loops. Nope, not that one. One and two. A little bit fiddly, but we'll get there. And let's flip it around and do that here as well. This one. Okay, and we should be good. Let's see. Well, it's still around, but. Well, the quickest way to fix that is go in here one and two and one and two and then hit the control E to extrude, slightly tweak the offset. And with slightly, I mean slightly 0 0.1. Let's see 0 0.01. That's a bit better. Hit three. It's going to remain round ish and as I said, I don't like that. So what I'm going to do is hit Control Z a couple of times. We're going to go back. I'm going to hit one to trim that off. So we're going to go back and instead of extruding those out, I mean, I could fix it, but I'd have to go and add a bunch more edge loops. I don't want that really. So let's see what this will give us. Okay, we're going to hit Control Z to go back. even further and I guess what I'll do or could do is uh, just do that with a normal map instead right so let's see yeah much cleaner okay so uh, yeah we'll do that um, the thing is a bit thin so let's just take this guy let's go to just this guy and what we're going to do is we're going to hit R and we're going to scale the whole thing up, maybe even go this far. 
which will require us to tweak it a little, I guess, not too much. And it's better in proportion because we're going to have the whole horn thing as well. So I'm okay with this guy. So I'm going to go to mesh and smooth. I'm going to take this guy, hit G to repeat last command, G to repeat last command. So this is what we have so far on our unit, if you will. Okay. Now for the speaking piece here, we'll take another uh, polygon cylinder, E to rotate, hold on J, flip it around, hit W, pull it out like this. And what we'll do is we'll get rid of those faces at the end. So we're going to drag, select, and shift, drag, select, and delete. Then we're going to go to vertex, hit W, move those over here. We're going to make the whole thing fit, of course. So let's bring that in. Hit R, scale that down, and pull it out. F2, zoom in. Got a lot of noise today, sorry guys. Got a jet flying over. So that's not too bad. And then what we need to do here is go to Indirect Edge Loop once again. We'll do one here, Q on a keyboard. We're gonna go to Vertex, jump screens to here. Take these guys, R, scale it down like this. All right. And then what we're going to do is go in here and we're going to go into face and select one, skip one. Control E to extrude, W to push out. Actually, let's tweak the offset maybe. Control E, let's tweak the offset the other way around. Come on, 0 0.01, that's better. And then hit uh, Control E again and hit W to move inward. Now, probably not going to smooth this guy, but we could. Yeah, we could. Okay, so we're going to go to Mesh and Smooth. And then we'll hit 1 to get rid of the preview smooth, which will give us this. It's not bad. We'll hit 1 there as well, hit 1 there as well, 1 there as well. There you go. All right, so we got that. Now for the uh, speaking piece or the tube or the whatever it's called, we'll take a another polygon cylinder, E to rotate, hold on J, flip it on the side, hit W, move it forward. And again, we're gonna get rid of those faces. So we're gonna go in here, set caps to zero. Then we're gonna go in, select this face, get rid of it, select that face, get rid of it. All right, now this needs to fit perfectly, of course, so we're going to hit W, we're going to bring it in. And we're going to look at the rounded section, which is a perfect fit because it's the same thing, pretty much. And then from here, we're going to right click and go to, uh, let's do edge. Let's pull that in. And we need to look at the overall dimensions here and how far that's going to come out and whatnot. So we're going to start with this. And then what I'm going to do is hit Control E to extrude. Let's hit W to pull that out. And then hit G to repeat, and W to pull out. G and W. G, W. And just keep on going. And that might be it. G and W and one more. I would say definitely not further than this. Maybe the last one is one too many. So let's just go back. That would be about it. All right, then we're gonna go in, we're gonna grab these vertices and we're gonna hit R and we're gonna scale that up to what we believe the biggest dimension, which would probably be, I would say this. And then we're gonna work our way back and try to create a logical flow, if you will. Okay, and these are basically flat initially, so we're gonna now start to work from here. And what we'll do is we'll take all of these. I'm just trying to see if it's too short or not, but I think it's okay. 
So we have that. Now what we need to do with this guy is we need to go in and we need to hit Control E to extrude to give it some thickness. So 0 0.1 will give us a thickness on the inside as well, like this. It's a bit much maybe. 0 0.01. It should be enough. Let's hit 3 to preview smooth, which will give us this. And that looks okay as long as it's still in contact with that guy. So we're gonna want to go back, and what we need to do is um, move it a little. So we need W, we're gonna move it in, just so it's touching. And we can go in here and enter the edge loop, push one in at the end here, and one at the end here. Q on our keyboard, and we're gonna go to mesh and smooth, which will give us this, okay? Now, now that that's smooth, we need a ring on the end, and for that we'll take a, a polygon, uh, what's that thing called again? Donut, torus, whatever. And uh, yeah, torus. Uh, we're going to hit E to rotate, all down J. We're going to flip that like this, hit W, move it out. And then we're going to change the thickness. Let's see, uh, not that one. The section radius, 0.1. And then we're going to hit R and scale it. And uh, section radius 0 0.01. That's better. 0 point, yeah, 0 0.01 should be okay. And we'll scale that up. Still a bit too thick, I guess. Um, let's bring it in. And let's try. 0.001. It's not going to play ball with that. Nope. Looks like we got the smallest radius here. And not completely happy with that. Should be able to fix that. Actually. Not too bad. That will work. Yeah, that's cool. It will work. All right. So now we have that. Uh, let's see. We need to have the interior, of course, and we need to have a, uh, a button to activate the thing. So that's what we're going to do next. Okay. So now that we have that. Let's uh, look at the interior. Now, for that, I'm going to take another uh, polygon cylinder. Hit E to rotate. Hold on J. Flip that. W to move it out. Don't really need those end caps, so let's uh, get rid of that. At least the one on the inside. And we'll push this in here. I'll hit for wireframe mode so we can see it better. And I want to make sure that it's a good fit. So we're going to scale it down a little bit. In W, bring that in. And then from the front, we need to make sure that we can't see any piece of that interior. That's fine. All right. So we're going to take this guy and we're going to hit W. We're going to move it out. We don't want it to be sticking out, but this is about far enough. And we're going to hit R and we're going to push that in like this. That should be about enough. And maybe that interior can even be a bit smaller. So let's go in here to edge, double click on that. That looks a bit better. Yeah. So we have this guy, what we're going to do is we're going to hit W, we're going to pull it out. And let's see if we can add a little detail here. So what I want to do is go in and take these two faces, take these two, We'll take, let's make sure I'm working symmetrical here. We'll take these two and these two. All right. What we're going to do there is we're going to hit the control E to extrude. Let's tweak the thickness. 0 0.01, 0 0.04 maybe. That's a bit better. Yeah. And then the question is, too smooth or not too smooth? Definitely not smooth. And of course, we have a huge end gun on the front there that we need to fix. 
So we're gonna take this guy, we're gonna control E to extrude, R to scale in, like this, G to repeat, W to push in, G to repeat, R to scale down quite a bit, and then a G to repeat, and we'll hit W to pull in again. And to avoid the end gone, and we're not gonna see that thing anyway, we're gonna hit delete to delete that interface, right? So we're gonna take this. I probably do want to smooth it though. So what we'll need to do is insert a few edge loops. We'll do one at the end there, we'll do one at the end here. We'll do one on the interior. And we'll do one here, one here, one there, one there, one there, and one there. Let's see if that's enough. Maybe one in here. And one in there if I can reach it. All right, let's do a little test. Hit three, yeah, it looks nice. Hit one, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna bring that back in. Hit W, bring that in, have to frame that. I'm gonna select it, we're gonna go to mesh and smooth to actually smooth it. So there you go. Now we need a button to turn this thing on. So that would be somewhere up here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and let's see, we'll take one, two, three, four faces and we're gonna delete those. Then we're gonna take a cube, hit W, push that down, push that out. Let's get that into shape. Let's hit R, let's bring that in. Right click a vertex. Let's bring that in. And then we're gonna go out here. Let's hit W, move it out. We don't want that face on the end, of course. Let's delete that. And let's get this in there. So we're gonna hit W, we're gonna move it in. And I want you to be able to see that it's actually inside so we're going to make it slightly smaller just a little same here all right and then the height needs to be adjusted so we'll fix that so we're going to right click go to vertex drag select and i want to see this all four ways so i can see what's going on there you go then we're gonna grab this, so we're gonna push that in to about here. I'll push that in to about, I would say here. And then we're gonna go in here to enter the edge loop and we'll put one in in the middle. And then right click go to vertex, just on this guy. And then hit W and move that out like this, just to give it a bit more body, if you will, right? Okay, so now that we have that, let's round this guy off a little bit, and as you can see, the top needs to be a bit thicker. So let's hit R and slightly scale that up. Just wanna make sure that this thing is perfectly centered, it looks like it is. We're gonna to go to vertex and take these, push that in just a tiny bit. And there you go. Now we want this to look smooth as well. So let's go in here, put one in there. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. This is the one I want. I find it easier to do this. Come on, guy. 
guys. My apologies. What I'll do here, just so it makes more sense, is just get this guy out of here, right? Okay, so. Where's he at? Right. So let's do that, and then we'll do one in the bottom here. And we'll do one in the back. Q on a keyboard. Let's hit three. Have a look. Looks pretty neat. Let's go to mesh and smooth. Actually, smooth. Let's do level two on this guy. Perfect. Hit one. We'll hit W to move it back in. Okay. Now, let's see if it's big enough and all the kind of stuff it looks like it is. So, good, good. So we have that, we can activate the thing. Uh, let's see, anything left? Uh, maybe a uh, strap to hold on to. So what we can do here is go in and I'll actually, yeah, let's see. What I'll do is I'll take this guy and this guy and this guy and this guy. Control E to extrude, W to push down like this. And I'll hit R and push them towards each other just a little, like this. And then we're going to go into Injured Edge Loop. Put one there. Put one there. Q on the keyboard. And what we're going to do is right click at a face. One and two. Delete. Three and four. Delete. Let's get an edge double click shift double click edit mesh bridge option box let's set the divisions to two and hit bridge all right so we have that and let's see we'll go to mesh and smooth it's fine which will give us that and then uh, if you like, you can create a strap on that, but this is okay. So this is basically it, guys. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy into Keyshot, and that's literally dragging and dropping some textures on it, just so you have an idea in the thumbnail what it could look like, right? But as far as the video is concerned, it's all about the modeling today. So this is it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you do because I'm hoping to hit 100,000 subscribers in the next week or so. And there are going to be some cool giveaways, right? So don't miss that. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching as always and see you guys next time. Bye.